All right, mate, how you doing? And welcome back to another episode of London United. It's episode 22, a.k.a. Half a Fat Lady. Let's do it. Right, before we crack on with the episode, let's take a look at our top goal scorers and players in the club. Diego Costa still top 30 goals now, 16 assists in 24 games. But coming after him is Davos Suka, 17 goals in 10 games. He is a firecracker. Walcott, 15 goals, 10 assists from 21 games. Matters slowed down in recent episodes quite a bit, actually. Eden Hazard's getting there, 9 goals in 12. Matty Jarvis, 9 in 11. Crespo is also coming after Suka and Diego Costa, 9 goals and 5 assists in 7 games. Let's take a look at our top assisters then. It's obviously Diego Costa still top of that. Walcott second, Mata third. Oscar is in there in fourth. He's played quite a lot, 20 games. He's got 7 assists and 8 goals. Let's go to the most played. Played players, Gary Cahill is bossing that with 29 games under his belt. Let's crack on. Right, for my first game of the episode, this is the team I'm using. No new debuts to be made because we didn't get any players out of the pot after the last game of the last episode. We're going with four legends, Crespo, Suka, Laudrup and Perez. We've got Walcott and Inform Wilshire from Arsenal. We've got Courtois from Chelsea. Centre-back partnership from West Ham and QPR, Corker and Inform Winston Reid. Walker at right back and Ward from Crystal Palace at left back. Let's play. Liverpool FC are my upcoming opponents. And they've got Soldado and Lukaku, Kabea, they've got Clichy, they've got Abdenor, they've got Bedemo, who's a left back playing right back. It's a bit of a mishmash of a team, to be honest. It's not amazing, but that usually means the guy is going to be quite good. If he's playing in Division 2 with an average team, he's probably decent. Let's find out if he is. See a Walcott. Bang. Through ball. Oh, hello. Suka's got it. Davo. Davo. Ref. Got to be a penalty. Has, that's got to be a penalty. He's not giving it, he's giving a corner. Perez is going to try and hit this. Robert Perez. Perez hits it. Perez almost scores. Perez with a corner. Head that. Head that. Oh, he's gone in. I don't even know who that came off. Was it my player? I think Corker's celebrating. I'll take it. 1-0. Yes. Right, what happened there? The ball comes in and I think Corker does just head it in. It just went a little bit. It was a looper. You know, it went quite high. Yeah, I think it's Corker's goal. We'll take it. Suka, looking for the ball over to Crespo. Crespo! Oh, what a finish straight in the upper Benjamins, in the roof of the net. 2-0. Look at this finish. Oh, you don't see it, doors. Look at it. Oh, my God, blimey. Oh, connection has been lost with your opponent. I think we might have forced a rage quit. 10 out of 10 rating for Crespo. You don't see that very often. He gets a goal, as does Kulka. Assist for Perez and Suka. Don't mind if I do. So we're given a 2-0 win. Lovely. We get a player for the win and we get a player for the rage quit. That's two players coming out of the pot. And we're now on 14 points. We need just four points from our last four games. So a draw in every match would be enough. And we're going up to Division 1. Massive. Right, let's see who these two players are. Come on, it's time for a big name now. I'm ready for someone massive to come out of this pot. This way round. This way round. And his name is... Bosch! Ooh, it's our second blue card. Team of the year, David Louise. We've been waiting for you, David. We've been waiting for you. Welcome to the club, you cheeky sideshow Bob. Look alike mug. David Louise is out. I'm, oh, it's been a long time coming, that one. Okay. Who's player number two going to be? Is it going to be someone equally as juicy? Let's find out. It's that way round. Yes, it is. And this guy's name is none other than... Bosch! That's not juicy at all. It's a German centre-back, which we can do some damage, actually. I've got an idea what I can do with him. Go maybe next to Mertesacker. Lehmann in goal, the German. I mean, it's not a dream team, is it? Let's be honest. Mertesacker and Emma. This guy's name is Emma. He's a QPR centre-back. He's bronze. Let's get him in and let's stop talking about this mug. Right, two players at the pot, baby. Okay, for my second game, this is the team that I'm using. David Luiz, Team of the Year version. He's making his debut and his centre-back partner is also a debutant who goes by the name of Emma. Emma, I don't know how you say it. He plays for QPR. As a result, I've brought in Rob Green to help with his chemistry. And you can see the little Chelsea-Brazilian connection I've got around David Luiz to help with him. We've got Felipe Luiz, his namesake, and we've got Ramirez and CDM. So David Luiz is on a seven. We can improve that later. We've got things like Ricardo Carvalho. We could put him next to him at Inform Carvalho. We haven't used him in a while, but he could help improve David Luiz's chemistry down the line. But for now, we're going to go with this. We've got Inform Andy Carroll up top, Balassi from QPR. We've got Inform Cazorla. We've got Townsend and Walker from Spurs. And that's pretty much it. Let's see if we can get a win. Agbon Lahord is my upcoming opponent, and he's got a couple of silvers at fullback. He's got Winston Reid, Koscielny, De Gea, Matuidi, Yaya Torre, Dumbia and Ibrahimovic, Lacazette and Vargas. That's a sweaty team. Bang. Andy Carroll, come out of that. Hit it. 
Come on, Andy. Andros whips it in. Andy Carroll on the header. That's more like it, the big man. I'm pretty sure it's his first goal for the club. I know he's played before, but I don't think he scored. I'll check later. All I know is he's scored this game. Townsend whips it in. Oh, the ponytail of destiny strikes again. Andy Carroll, a.k.a. air conditioning. AC gets the goal. Come on. It's a lovely ball for Balassi. You see the curl on that pass. Balassi picks it up. Goes inside for Andy Carroll. It's Oscar. Oscar. Oh, <laughs> what a finish from little Oscar. Oh, my word. I didn't expect that to go in. I'm not going to lie to you. I thought it was Andy Carroll when I hit it. Luckily, it wasn't because it went on his right foot. Carroll's got no right foot. But by Jove, hasn't Oscar got one? Look at that finish. That is upper echelon, upper Benjamins, all the way to the bank. Dot com. Bang. Oscar looking for Andy Carroll. Go on, Andy. Get your second goal. He's getting his shirt pulled. That should be a red card. I'm sorry, but I'm through on goal. I bet he doesn't send him off. He has sent him off. Well done, ref. For once in your life, you've done the right thing. Winston Reid is off. I'm 2-0 up. The guy's got 10 men. 24 minutes gone. Surely I'm taking the three points here. Balassi wants to get on in the action. Balassi wants in on the action. Balassi! Rebound! Rebound! What the hell? Did De Gea save that? How did Andy Carroll not put that open goal in? Right, it falls to him. What happened? Oh my God, it's a save of the century from De Gea. I don't know how much he knew about it, but it was a save. Oscar takes the corner. Head that. It's going to come out to Kyle Walker. Kyle. Kyle. He scored one really good goal for us already. Is he going to score another one? Rebound. Yes, 3-0. It wasn't Kyle Walker, but it was Oscar with his second goal of the game. Felipe Luis. Bang. To Andy Carroll. Let's it ride. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. He's inadvertently set up Oscar for his hat-trick. Carroll for the rebound. Oh, what's going on? De Gea's on crack. I know he's conceded three, but he could have conceded about 33. Look at that. Not a single shot for the other team. 11 shots for me. We need more goals second half. I want at least a five-goal winning margin. Go. Carroll for Balassi. He needs a goal. He's due a goal. Balassi. 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 <laughs> Eventually it goes in. Bloody hell, that was messy. 4-0. Townsend looking for the switch for Balassi. It's a great ball. Yannick brings it down. He's going to score. No, he's not. Go on, Balassi. You've got that. It's a great ball from Carroll. Can we get another goal? Middle it. Bang. Yes, Andros Townsend gets in on the action. We've got the five-goal margin. If it stays like this, we'll get the extra player for it. And there's the final whistle. Solid 5-0 victory. Division 2, Division Schmoo. Man of the match goes to Balassi. He gets a goal and two assists. Absolutely smashed it. Oscar did very well as well. Andy Carroll, a.k.a. the rich man Zibrahimovic, does very well. And David Luiz and Aimer both keep clean sheets on their debut. It doesn't get me a player. It's only debut goalkeepers that get me that. But it's impressive, especially the bronze man, Aimer, who plays an 8 at centre back. So we get one player out the pot for the win, one player for winning by five goals or more, two players coming out the pot and we're on 17 points with three games remaining. We need one more point. So a draw in this next game means we're definitely going to Division 1. But first of all, let's find out who these two new players are. Okay, we got David Luiz in the last time we pulled someone out the pot. Are we going to top that now with this man? What's your name? Where'd you come from? Hello! Oh, it's a bronze player. It's a gold, not gold, goalkeeper is what I meant to say. Bronze from Crystal Palace, uh, Wales as well, and his name's Price. Not the best player I've ever seen in my life, at all. We're going to have to use a bronze goalkeeper next game. That's not going to make it easy. Player number two. He's this way, the, the other way, that way around. And his name is... Bang! Oh, okay, it's a silver card. It's a very good silver card. It's Yedlin, of, uh, obviously, of Spurs and the USA. Very, very quick. So our two best right-backs, probably both Spurs right-backs now. We've got 93 pace Yedlin and, of course, Kyle Walker. So, Yedlin, you're very welcome. We can get him involved whenever Walker needs a rest. Perfect. Okay, for my final game of the episode, and it's a big one because I can clinch promotion to Division 1 with just a draw in this game. This is the team I'm using. We've got the bronze goalkeeper Price in goal. He's making his debut. If he keeps a clean sheet in this game, we'll get an extra player. We've got Yedlin making his debut at right back from Spurs. We've got Diego Costa, the top goal scorer in the club, back in the team. Vargas next to him. He's our QPR player. Matters in there. Hazard's in there. Walcott's our Arsenal player. We've got Inform Cresswell from West Ham. You know the rest. Let's do it. Raspberry City is my upcoming opponent and they've got Van Persie, Quadrado, Schurler, Eriksen, Matic, Clichy, Mangala, Cahill, Walker, Petr Cech in goal, Fernandinho at centre mid. Okay, I see what they've got. Matic plays the ball through to Theo Walcott. Theo Walcott's going to middle it. Got to be a goal. Bang. 
No, Diego. Juan Mata. Juan Mata. Oh, that's sublime. Juan Mata. Look at him go. Oh, he finds Diego. Costa's going to score. And it's all thanks to Juan Mata's handiwork. 1-0. We've got one foot in Division 1 already. We're flying this series. And no one's flying more than that man. Diego bloody Costa. Juan Mata. Play that ball. Got to be a goal for Theo Walcott. Too slow, Theo. That's not usually something I expect to say about you, mate. Juan Mata. To Vargas. Varg oh, ref. That's from behind. It's a red card. Another red card this episode for my opposition. I'm obviously drawing the fouls. What can you say? To be fair, this was pretty horrible. From behind. Through the back of him. I mean, it is a red card. See you later, cliche. Diego Costa does very well. Skipping away from his markers. Can we get ourselves another goal? Come on, Diego. Come on, Diego. Middle that. Almost. Oh, the sliding tackle! I slid in in anticipation of the keeper's clearance and Juan Mata has pounced on it! That is a cheeky goal, you know, considering the fact that I deliberately slid for that purpose and it went in. Look, the ball comes in, the keeper clears it, I jumped in before he kicks it because I knew he was going to clear it and it worked! Perfectly! Juan Mata gets the goal. Ah, oh, well happy with that one. It's not the prettiest, but the thought process behind it was top notch. Bang. Through ball for Vargas. Get yourself a goal. Keeper is staying on his line by the looks of things. Bang. The oh my word. Off the corner bar. Now that's unlucky from Vargas. There's the final whistle. It's a quality 2-0 victory. A debut clean sheet for Price in goal as well. Juan Mata gets man of the match. 8.6. He gets a goal and an assist. He was superb. Diego Costa keeps scoring. Price gets the debut clean sheet. So we get one player for the win and one player for that debut clean sheet. Now we don't get the end of season bonus just yet because the season's not finished. We can still win the title. In fact, we probably will. We only need one point from two games. We haven't lost, by the way, at all in Division 2. But the good news is we're definitely going through to Division 1, whatever happens. But for now, two players out the pot. Let's see who they are. Okay, come on. Player number one is this way. No, this way round. And his name is... Hello! Thomas from Crystal Palace, left winger, 69 rated, 75 pace, not a game changer, but we'll get him in. Thomas, and let's see who player number two is. Okay, player number two. Can we get a little bit better? Because whilst we had Team of the Year Louise, every other player we've got today has been a silver or a bronze. So we'd like to get at least a gold here if possible. Are you gold? Let's find out. Bang! He's not only gold, he's bloody in form. Hugo Lloris, the goalkeeper. Probably, well, he's definitely one of our best keepers in the club now. We've got some quality keepers. We've got two legend keepers. We've got Courtois. And now we've got in form Lloris. Oh, I have to check out how much in form Lloris is, but I'll probably go for him. And let's get him in. Mwah. Yes. Okay, so first game in the next episode, that's the team I'm using. We've got Larice making his debut in goal, Thomas making his debut on the left-hand side. I haven't gone with Inform Larice just now because I want to see how much I use him first because I've got Courtois, I've got the Legends. If I lose one or two of them maybe by losing the game, then I can upgrade Larice. But if I'm not using him a lot, it's a bit of a waste of coins really just to throw him in there. But for now, that's the end of this episode though, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time when we're going to be playing the game in Division 1 for the first time. I can't wait. Don't go changing.